All righty. So, welcome back, guys. Um, this show you're about to listen to is... Brought to you by... <laughs> um, this show is uh, me and Tommy just sitting down, shooting the shit. Uh, we talked about a lot of... A lot of stuff. Talked about... Um, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Nightmares. We talked about nightmares. We talked about um, race. We talked about race. race. Yeah, we did. We had a good conversation Which, about that. Which, uh, yeah, you guys might agree with some of the stuff we said. You might disagree. I have a yeah. feeling a few might disagree with what I said, but that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, yeah, we had a good laugh as well. It was really funny. So, yeah, it was fun. Um, this podcast, though, is brought to you by Audible. So, audible.com, guys. Check out... Our uh, you know, the three day thirty day damn it the thirty day <laughs> free trial with Audible. Thirty day free trial, you get one free credit if you sign up. That's it. We sorry sorry about that. We've uh, we've just recorded for about six hours in a row, so yeah, rain's a little fried. But um, so Audible Audible's amazing. Um, we have been through some really really good books lately. I just totally. uh, just finished Sex at Dawn, which um, takes an alternate look yeah, yeah, at yeah, but why. What are you reading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zing. <laughs> Zinger. <laughs> Zinger. Um, I've just read Sex of Dawn, which is really good. It takes an old, uh, a different look at monogamy and the evolution of, uh, of sex through like uh, our species and stuff. So it's mm-hmm. pretty cool. Um, and also, we are brought to you by Adventure Fit Travel. So check out www.adventurefittravel.com uh, to see all our trips. But guys, we are running a promotion. So what we want you guys to do we're giving away uh, uh, we're giving away a couple of supporter packs. So that'll be merchandise packs. So that'll give you a jumper. Um, that'll give you a tank, a t-shirt, and a mug. Your first prize will get that, and they'll also get a thousand dollar Adventure Fit travel voucher. And all you got to do there's also second and third prize too, which will get smaller vouchers and smaller prize uh, clothing packs, merchandise packs. What you guys need to do though, you need to go onto Adventure Fit Radio. Go on to us on iTunes and you'll need to subscribe. First is subscribe to Adventure Fit Radio if you haven't already or just show that you've subscribed, iTunes or Stitcher. Screenshot the subscription. Then leave us a rating and review. Screenshot that. Send both the subscription and the rating and review to promotions at adventurefittravel.com and then post on your Instagram a screenshot of the show with ADVF Radio giveaway as your hashtag. Entries will close 12 noon noon on... uh, on the 18th to the 10th and we'll announce winners two days after that. So, mm-hmm. if you guys want some free merch, you guys want uh, some travel vouchers with Adventure Fit Travel, then make sure you jump on the promotion. We've had a bunch of people uh, email through so far. Yep. So, screenshots and uh, help us climb the rankings. Boom. Anyway, guys, here's the show. What's going on, mate? Mate, how did we dream last night? You had a weird dream? Yep. Tell yep. us about it. had a weird you, dream. What do you mean? It wasn't a sex dream or anything. Don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just, um, wasn't a falling dream either. I was just in this. Um, so, okay. You were talking about nightmares before, and mm-hmm. I just thought, because I wanted to talk about dreams. And this is a natural reoccurring dream that I have. Have you ever seen the episode of The Simpsons where Homer goes through into like the 3D area and yeah, it becomes the 3D all, episode? The th- 3D, the, yeah, yeah, 3D of course episode. I've seen the 3D yeah. episode. Okay, okay. So I was in the 3D area. Okay. So I was in the 3D so area. you were in the world. I was in the world. Oh, yeah, so it was so, yeah. a normal day. So it was just a day. <laughs> regular, regular This was 20 day. minutes ago. I was awake. I woke up <laughs> I awake. and... Uh... And I was alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was in, in my dream, I wasn't 2D anymore. Strange. Yeah, that was... is really weird. It really changed up. Really did change it up from reality. <laughs> yeah. No, but look. Okay, look. Look. You're dreaming. Just look for a second. <laughs> so I was, I was, I was in... I was look in the... for a second. <laughs> I was in this like grid 3D. So it wasn't like, okay. you know, normal 3D. Like, okay. like, like, you know, like 3D you and I know. All right. So you're in, um, you're in Toy Story. <laughs> I was in Toy Story. You're in, to- you're in The Simpsons but it was 3D. Grid- it was gridded like Tron, the movie. Okay. You've seen that? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Explain I, to me. I was in this grid area and I was walking through it. And I don't know how it flashes so far to this point. But all of a sudden I'm walking through this green, like this green gridded area. And then... Bang, I'm cowering under a fucking park bench and this dinosaur is coming at me. And like it's running through like these these buildings. Triceratops, uh, uh, pterodactyl. No, t- t- T-Rex. 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 Yeah, T-Rex. Rexy. You don't Rexy. fuck around in your dreams, do nah, you? Nah, not at all. 
And um, he's running at me. And um, I, I always wake up just when he's about to exit the park bench, which I always think is really strange because if he's running at me, like, why does he go for the park bench? Like, I'm I'm better than a park bench. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Way tastier, I would imagine. I, 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 like... <laughs> Mate, I've look, never, look at me. never, I've never eaten human, but I've never but, eaten. But you've tasted meat. <laughs> <laughs> tasted meat. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So it's really strange. I um, I don't know what it is. Can you shed some light? <laughs> shed some light. Yeah. So I uh, I finished my psychology course yesterday. Yeah. I did it, uh, did it last week. How'd it go? I'm now uh, I'm now have a PhD in uh, in dream science. <laughs> but um, <laughs> shed some light. That's, no. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're on about, mate, to be honest. It could be something. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I liked dinosaurs as a kid. Could have something How to do with How many times have you watched Jurassic Park? <laughs> oh. This week. Oh, yeah, this week? <laughs> oh, none. <laughs> I, um, I, have a, I have a recurring dream, and I may have talked about it on the podcast the other day. You know mm. what? I realize that when we talk about things on the podcast the second mm-hmm. and third time, it doesn't actually matter mm. because mm. we only have like three listeners. Yep. <laughs> and they've only listened to three shows each. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so they don't even know. Yeah, so, so it's all good. We can just repeat our episodes every, all day, every day. Um, that's the second time in a row you've said fuck them. Oh, I have to. Shit. He I loves, I, I he love loves you guys. He loves I love you guys. In a, you know, in like a... In a fuck you way. In a non-relationship <laughs> sense. Um, <laughs> fuck you guys. I have, this, I have this recurring dream that it's really weird that I'm always getting chased by like mm. gangsters. Mm. Like it's like it's like corrupt cops maybe even. Mm. Because you know how in dreams you can't really 100% remember exactly what it was? Mm. But it's, it recurs so much. But well, maybe it might differ. It might be like a gangster one time and then it might be a cop. It might be a corrupt cop. But I feel like it's Dinosaur. like the cops, but they're going to fuck me over. Like they, they might even kill me. Yep. And um, Really? Jesus. Yeah, it goes on all night, man. It's totally, <laughs> totally fucked. It really pisses me off. Yeah. So, But the, the one thing that I do have, and I'm pretty sure I may discuss, discuss in this podcast already, but one thing that I do have is if I run fast enough, and mm. I can run pretty fucking fast. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. seen me run. I've seen you run. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I run fast enough and I jump real hard, yeah. I can glide through the air. <laughs> it's more like my escape plan. Wait, are we but, in, in the dream or in... No, it's in real life. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll get on to the dream later. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, in, in the dream, so... It starts off, but it's like it's really harrowing because when you're having when you're having nightmares, do you have like a fucking a beating heart? That's oh yeah, brr, 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 brr. oh yeah. Because I woke up in the middle of the night last night. I was getting chased by this bloke. I don't know who he was, <laughs> but um, getting chased by this bloke. I ended up at a dude's house who was I caught up with him through some other mates of mine but he was like a rep they told me to go around to his house he was like a refuge yeah and then he told me like he told me that he had this new type of ecstasy pill that had Ooh. come on the market yeah, with yeah. some new drug he was telling me all about the benefits of it and how wait, like, wait. well drug is this benefits. like limitless um, no 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 it's, oh. it was a party pure, drug pure yeah, ecstasy pure ecstasy yeah. drug and, um, the good and, stuff yeah and then so and then again this is when I kind of woke up it's at, in the middle of the night and then again my heart was like brr, 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 oh fuck this dude's got drugs yeah. in his house I'm gonna get out of here <laughs> and then it went on for um, it went on all night so I woke up in the middle of the night fucking like not hot, cold sweats but just not enjoying it yeah yeah and then um, <laughs> and then went to the bathroom and then I came back and what did I do I put on <laughs> I put on some meditation music or, yep. or a podcast. I can't actually remember what I did, but you know when you wake up in the middle of the night, oh. you, you're like, you just, you think, okay, right, football, football, yeah. football, football, or weightlifting, weightlifting. Something, something, something. Yeah, yeah. Some, dumb and dumber, dumb and yeah. dumber. What's your favorite thing, dumb and dumber? Yeah. You try and force the dream away. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I think I said, uh, <laughs> you just made I, noises with I your did. mouth. I really did. <laughs> Well, that's what I do when I'm uh, when I'm half asleep. I just go, okay. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> did I tell you about um? Did I tell you about Jill the other day in her sleep? Uh, I'm aware of her work. Um, <laughs> um, so she's probably going to hate me for this, but she doesn't listen to all the shows. So yeah. maybe I'll get away we'll with slide it. Through, we'll slide this one through. Yeah, we'll get this. We'll go part through the, the keeper. I reckon. I'll, I'll keep it out of the um, out of the intro and the synopsis. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah. So I woke up the other night and I was like, "What the fuck's that noise?" And um, I went, and I looked over, and Jill, she was facing me. <laughs> so, because we, we weren't spooning around, and she was facing me. And she was like this. She was like this, and she goes, she's going, mm, nom, 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 nom. Was she mm, awake mm, eating a burrito? Mm, mm, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> it was, she was literally was sleep eating with sleep no eating? food. She was sleeping. 
She was sleeting. Yeah, yeah she was sleeting. Non-sleeting. She was non-sleeting. Yeah. <laughs> like, she wasn't really sleeting. She's a yeah, non-sleeter. She's a non-sleeter. Yeah. But, um, yeah, she was sitting there in her... In her um, in her dream, just chowing down, yeah. having the best time. I wonder what she was eating. Um, hopefully not. What did it look like? What did it look like? Like, uh, like it, it the way you eat like a burrito? We've got to release this video. Yeah. No, sorry, listeners. So I like, did- like burrito eating or like, like pizza eating <laughs> or some form of like dark lint chocolate? Um, I felt like it may have been... Uh, orange tinted <laughs> mm, dark mm. chocolate, maybe mm. from New Zealand. Mm, there's a way to eat that. Yeah, there's definitely a way to eat that. D- yeah. Nomming, nomming, it's nomming, it's yeah. nomming. But Ooh, um, that's, that's interesting. It was so fucking. Fu- she reckons she's done it. Um, she reckons she's done it before with her mates in uh, in Bali. And um, <laughs> but I've done I've done some weird I've done some weird weird shit in my sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I um. Well, how what, would you know? Uh, well, I got, I've been told about oh, it. Oh, just from blokes spooning you. And, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes sense. Um, well, you were doing some weird shit when I was spooning you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting, say, getting erections. Say, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't say no. Shoving it, shoving it in your back and stuff. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> but I um, I used to talk about footy. So I in your sleep? There, in my sleep. Yeah, only when I was real hammered. I'd sit there and I'd be like... <laughs> Oh, oh, that was that was so good when you when you got the ball and you down the back flank. It was good and and like all my mates' nicknames like oh Shugsies I got to make like sugar. Oh Shugsies that was that was great man. Good stuff man. Keep, keep it up Shugsies. And I'd like I'd whisper it to myself and commentate footy games that I played. Yeah. It was um, that is bizarre. Mm, I think I've bizarre. um I've definitely urinated in my sleep before. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, yeah. I urinated I, on my um I, I'm a girlfriend like, on my sleep, like, on my twenty first birthday on purpose. Nah, <laughs> no, no. It was my twenty first yeah, birthday. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I uh, I went to bed. She, she, the boys put me to sleep. My twenty first birthday was a um, a couple uh, of months ago. What's, what's a few, it? few months ago, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a, <laughs> it was a roller disco, sporting hero, fluoro, pimp ho, and porn star party. But I'm not saying like it was a couple of months ago. Like I mean, this was nine years ago, but it finished a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, it was a yeah. festival. Um, <laughs> But um, everyone, it was just a cool dress-up party and everyone got pretty hammered and my auntie had um, a belt full of shots and she f- gave me about four of them real late at night and then I went over to um, go to the, go to the bathroom because my parents have a property so I was just like going to have a, a, a wee in the bushes and uh, I was sat, sat there, got my dick out, started weeing and my friends well, watched me. Into, yeah. My friends watched me. Apparently, I went, started having a, having a wee and then... I don't say we normally. I just yeah, I was thinking the, the listeners might, word. might, might. I don't know. Why I, I started to excrete urine <laughs> from my male reproductive organ. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I was having a whiz in the bushes and literally standing there, and then just fell face first in the bush <laughs> I was pissing into. <laughs> and the boys put me to bed. So the boys came, grabbed me, put me to bed, and then I went to bed with my uh, girlfriend at the time. And then I <laughs> was spooning her, and I oh, went to bed. Finish it off. <laughs> yeah. Had a further way in the bushes. Yeah. Oh, so, it's terrible. I oh, had something times. to say. I really had something to say then. I forgot you were going to tell me that you crapped you crap the bed once. Oh, that's right. Did I, did I mention Remember that? when you crapped the bed? Yeah. I yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, um, that, 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 that has happened to me before. Has it really? Yeah, it's happened to me I before. I was joking. Yeah. No, I wasn't. You were sick of <laughs> how did you? How did that happen? Oh, well, this, I mean, I was four years old, you know, <laughs> and I obviously, like, like, I remember it. No, look, yeah, that was, uh, I was having to think though. If you could think of like one of the most bizarre themes for a twenty first, mm. what would what would it be? Because I've got one bizarre themes. Yeah, um, I just tried to make mine very open so people could wear anything. So mine was nineties, nineties themed. Yeah. Me and a friend, we were talking, and she said to me, "What do you think like the weirdest theme could be?" And I said, "Oh, I don't know, like uh, so, I don't know, good versus evil." She's like, "What about past family relatives?" You mean dead family relatives? As in dead family relatives. Can you imagine that? Mm. Hey, uh, I'm Auntie Susan. What do you mean? Hey, I'm Auntie Susan. Well, hopefully it wouldn't be, G'day, I'm Auntie Susan. What do you mean? Susan's here. (laughs) Oh, nuts. (laughs) Like, hey, that's a bit too search. Um, That's a really... That that ended up going ahead as the... the No, God. Oh yeah, that's no, 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 fucked no, no, up. No. That's real. It's really fucked. Isn't really it? strange. Or like, um, you oppressed some strange mates. Oppressed political parties, <laughs> <laughs> like the uh, the sex dungeons. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the dunge. Um, yeah, I dressed up once at a twenty first. So I saw this happen the other day. Um, really? So you know, no, no, no. You know, um, blackface. 
like dressing up dressing up black. Oh, he's called blackface in in reference to like um, uh, stage shows that used to happen in like mm. the early 1900s, the late 1800s that yep. were really racially vilifying for black people. See, I didn't know that much about this mm. to be honest. I knew the term blackface and I knew that some people thought it was derogatory or whatever. Mm. But so mm. there's a football club in um, in Frankston. Did you see the Frankston Bombers? They had a dress up night, a mm-hmm. rap night, um, mm-hmm. rap and R and B, and this dude dressed up <laughs> as um, who was it? Dressed up as like, well, put it put it this way. I can't, I can't yep. remember the actual rap, but it was like Tupac. Yeah, okay, you yeah, know? yeah. So he painted himself jet black. Someone who is African American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Painted himself. Oh, well, painted himself black, and then um, and then uh, he went to the went to the party. And mm. then they took photos, they put it on their Instagram and stuff. And then it literally went viral, went all over the place. How's these Franks the Bombers guys? So disrespectful, mm. blackface, blah, blah, whatever. Now, I had a massive problem with that because I had all these, um, all these, you know, internet warriors, some of them really good friends of mine that were, you know, going on the keyboards and, and getting stuck in all, yeah. all around the place. How, how unbelievably um, disrespectful is this? So on and so mm. forth. And I said to them, I said, hang on a second. I went to a Cowboys and Indians party. Um, I went to a Cowboys and Indians party 21st, someone's 21st yeah, back in the day. A Cowboys and Indians party. You just had a male orgy, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I remember you telling me that. <laughs> yeah, so I what, I, what I did was I was like, all right, I was with the boys. We're drinking beers at my place. And I said, how many people are going to go to this join as Cowboys and how many people are going to go as Indians, you mm. think? Mm. And the boys said, I reckon everyone's going to be Cowboys. I said, I'm going full Indian. Yeah. So I went to a, I went to a dress-up store in Mornington and I got like this <laughs> Cherokee red um, body paint. Yeah. And I got my mum to make me a leather like strap that just went around my waist. I had Ugg boots on, but they looked like, I don't know, I looked like the proper garb. Yeah, yeah. I had made up a proper head um, headdress, a headdress. And I got uh, all my mates around, we were drinking beers and I... <laughs> Pretty much got naked in my jocks and said, paint me, boys. And they yeah. fully painted me head to toe in Cherokee red. My dad had a tomahawk as well that he used to split wood with, like a yeah. proper tomahawk. So I got the tomahawk. Um, I went down to this party and I absolutely killed it. On the way, actually... Did you have a name? Did you have a name? Nah. Like Bill Cowtongue. Running, uh, running, <laughs> running, running dick. Le- leaky dick. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, anyway, I got to get back to my point. So, so I arrived at. It's um, not all Indian. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, my grand ancestor, Licky Dick. <laughs> um, uh, oh. Yeah, I wasn't too respected in the in the communities, but yeah. but anyway, so I had a great time along the way. I'll get back to my point in a sec. But mm. along the way, we went to get um we went to get um petrol, and there was a big line to get into the service station because it was summer, and um. <coughs> The boys were slowed down. I wasn't. Allowed, I was sitting in the seat. I wasn't allowed to touch anything because I would have rubbed it off all over in the car. Anyway, whoever was driving, I can't remember. What it was one of the boys was like, "Hey, Doc, you got to do this, man." Mm. I said, "What do you mean?" They go, "You got to get in there." Mm-hmm. I said, "Okay, <laughs> uh, okay. I think I see what's going on." Here. Mm-hmm. So I got out of the car and I got over the other side of the road with my tomahawk, yeah. dressed full Cherokee Indian. Anyway. And I ran through the service station. I sprinted as fast as I could, shaking my tomahawk, going. And I sca- I scared the fuck out of people. Whatever, so on and so forth. Now it was really funny. Went to the party, whatever. People were getting lots of photos with me. We had a great time. Now, if I, a lot of people would have thought that to be extremely, extremely racist. Mm-hmm. Going off the blackface thing, mm. Um, mm. when I when all this thing kicked off about the blackface thing, all heaps of people on Facebook were, were um, writing how, how bad it was, so on and so forth. And I tried to talk to a couple of my mates about my, my point of view. I said, "Look, I went to a Cowboys and Indians party once, mm. so I was asked to dress as a cowboy or an Indian. Mm-hmm. So I dressed as an Indian. Mm. Is that racist? Does mm. that mean I'm racist against Indians? Mm. You know, because." These guys were asked to go to a rap and R&B party. Mm. What's the majority of rappers and R&B artists? Uh, what, I mean, that in, a, are black? in a in a skin in a skin color, right? Racially? Oh, I mean, I'd say I'd say more big name rappers are it. African American. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. What, what Eminem and fucking nobody else? Yeah, pretty but much to an extent. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. The people oh. that you see. So that, absolutely was a, a rap and R&B party. So you would think that they would be asking people to maybe dress as... Well, you know what? Exactly. Do you remember on um, Saturday night... Oh, it wasn't, wasn't Saturday Night Live. There was something... There was a show here where these guys dressed up as uh, the Jackson 5 mm. and they painted themselves black and 
you know, uh, there was a big, there was huge controversy about it because, you know, mm. there was like it's going on exactly the same thing you are. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm missing something, but I, I didn't see the issue with it because they, they weren't doing anything that was directly racist. Sam Newman did as well. They were just well. trying to- Sam Newman did the Nicky Wimmer? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That was I guess, black, it, that was I guess it's kind of like a- Subjective or it's a grey area, but I, I personally don't because it wasn't. It wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what I think about it, and yeah. I and we could cop a little bit of you know, th- th- one of our three listeners could yeah. find this quite offensive. That's right. Uh, some 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 people don't agree with what I'm about to say, but I think that it's the society's problem because it's why are we making such a big deal about it? Mm-hmm. Like, isn't the fact that we're making such a big deal of it making it worse? Making it a big deal. Yeah, Matt, making Matt, it Matt a big deal. Molehill. Isn't yeah. that the problem? Because. If I'm told to dress up as Ronald McDonald, mm. then I'll paint myself fucking white yeah, and I'll dye my hair red yeah, that's because right. that's what he looks like. Yeah, yeah. I'm not racially vilifying Ronald McFucking Donald. Yeah, yeah, that's you know what right. I mean? Well, we'll get Ronald McDonald on the show just to make sure that he's okay with that. And the la- but the last thing, the last thing, just to, t- to, to finish up on that blackface thing, the blackface thing, so because when all this happened, mm. um, one of my friends was, was getting into me about the fact that it was very racist because of blackface. Mm. Because the blackface, the, the act of blackface mm-hmm. back in the day was really, really derogatory towards yep. African Americans. So, and I very, very slightly knew the premise of blackface, but not really. So, I looked right into it because I was in an argument and a conversation, mm-hmm. basically not an argument, but a conversation about, you know, this stuff. I wanted to educate myself a little bit more. Anyway, it figures out that blackface was super, super, um, super, super uh, offensive mm. back in the day and... People still find it offensive to some degree, but at what point do people have to hang on to that? Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, that's this right. guy in Frankston who got absolutely castri- castri- mm. castrated, Ca- castrated, Ca- castrated, as in like he was just got people went, went was, through him. He was him. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I mean, he that all happened without anyone knowing that mm. he even knew what blackface was. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it happened one hundred and twenty. This is like a twenty-year-old kid. Yeah, it happened a hundred years ago, or whatever. Yeah, like at what point do we? Do we have to go through school and and mm. and find out about and learn about blackface? Mm. Learn it. Learn learn about to see if it's all good and yeah. Like, learn about is, every other thing that's been offensive. Yeah. Uh, across the, the is, journey, is society becoming too precious? Almost because mm. it's. I mean, you can understand the historical context of it used to be a very racist thing. So of course there's going to be an issue there. But at what point? I, I don't know. It's for me. I tend to agree with you. It's almost subjective. Where it's like this guy meant no harm by it. If you went there and he was like, oh, you know, this and that, it was. Speaking all negative about, you know... Um, Going, Ooh. Yeah, doing all <laughs> that sort of stuff. A Something a bit Bill Curry. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to say all of this shit is racist without looking at individual examples and going, actually, this, did, this guy didn't mean it in a racist way. This guy did, this guy didn't, you know? Yeah, and the fact that... The fact people keep harping on about the fact that it was blackface. And I, I, I was just like, look, and like, how many it, fucking yes, people in the world know... What, but it wasn't meant that way. Yeah, but how many people actually know about what blackface? If you did, yeah. did a poll on I the street, no idea. you went and did a poll on the street, people under thirty-five years old, <laughs> about what's the racial significance of blackface. Yeah, there would be, in my opinion, a very, very small amount that well, would be able to say. Literally, the first thing that came to my mind when you brought up backflay, blackflies, backflies, <laughs> blackflies, which is a different story. <laughs> when you when you um, brought up blackface I thought they painted themselves black so that they'd hide so they'd be able to um, hide you know so the theatre's black and when they're changing scenes it all goes dark so they'd be able to you know be, be hidden more do you know what I mean <laughs> fuck that's racist man he's a racist <laughs> no, I'm just oh, kidding oh god I'm, I'm getting nervous kidding. now no but as in we'll like we'll cut so, that bit out we'll yeah, cut that bit out because for me when I I, I used to be um, in the plays at school black and, yeah I used to be black <laughs> and, um, geez what a time that was <laughs> And um, no, I used to be in the places school and stuff, and um, we were told to dress up in black as, and you know, wear black beanies and all that sort of stuff, so that when we were changing the props around, we were the prop dudes. Mm. When we were changing the props around in between scenes, we'd be like hidden away. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant when you yeah. when you said blackface. Yeah, I just yeah, it's very it's very uh, it's just very bullshit. I think. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's the very more, precious. The more, but maybe social someone justice can... warriors there are out there. The, the a lot of things mm. I think a lot of things uh, mm-hmm. will will linger on mm-hmm. and will continue. Whereas agree. We're pretty. I think a lot of people are um, uh, are a lot more uh, a lot more open to yep. everything in the world now. And I think the the more that we carry on about things like this, but there, there is proper racism in the world. Yeah, there is hundred percent. There is proper lot, racism, yeah. and that needs to be stamped out. It's fucked. Like the racism Terrible. is terrible. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Nah, but no way. If you when you're talking about dressing up as something, if yeah. I was t- told to dress up like a dog, I'd wear some fur on myself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Anyway, so. 
Look, I, I'm interested to see um, what people will say um, in response to this because we get we do get a lot of uh, emails from our three listeners. Um, <laughs> nah, we've got to be more than that. Let's uh, let's uh, get a bit excited. Um, a few people, yeah, we, we like to uh, hear from you guys. So if anyone's got a different, uh, if you think we're racist, let us know. Yeah, if you think we're racist, let us know. You think and we'll, we're uh, right? we'll continue to be racist. Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> we love you all. We love you all. Hey, did you see the? Um, oh, this is another thing that's going to get me in trouble with Jill. Did you see? Um, <laughs> Did you see the 100 meter um, breaststroke yesterday, Money Chance? Uh, super hot chicks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Was, it was outstanding. Mm, mm. Do you know Will Ferrell, Twitter, he put, a, put something up on Twitter. <laughs> I think I saw this. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. He was like, um, already second day into the Olympics, and there's already been a wrist injury in the beach volleyball <laughs> for the women's, but it's okay. I'll be right by Monday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Said what we're all thinking. <laughs> Oh, there's some hotties. Mate, there oh, was God. proper, proper smoke shows. Even um, this chick on the TV yeah, right she, now. she's amazing. She's a, um, she's the um, slalom, what was it, the yeah, kayaking? Yeah, the canoeing thing. Kayaking, yeah. Beautiful smile. Oh, there's, but the the two, the German girl who won the 100 meter um, breaststroke, mm. and then the Australian, the Australian, um, the Australian, what was her name? Ian Thorpe. <laughs> 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 Stokes, yeah. Libby, Libby, um, oh, I know who you're talking about. Stokes, ah, fuck, yeah. I've got no name. Um, they were the prettiest mm. gold and silver medal duo I've mm. ever seen. Mm-hmm. It was unbelievable. Who do, were the? Who do you want to hug them? Um, I wanted to. No, I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm big. No, I was just thinking of. Well, it's the breaststroke. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to, say yeah. I was, I wanted to stroke, the- stroke the breast, but well, let's be honest. Well, but, let's um, be honest. You've said it. <laughs> yeah. um, but who are the like? Who are the other? Who are the other total smoke shows that, that we've seen in any sports? Like Anna Kournikova is probably number super one. Super heavyweight Russian weightlifters, they're good. Olga, yeah, <laughs> Olga Glogorka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Spassnik me Shlalakulok. No, no, um, no, no offense there. Dmitry Slushnik McLaughlin's yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, is that a bloke? Yeah, yeah. he's good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I think all, Anna I mean, Kournikova was probably the any, best. Any she? Olympian, I mean, they train hard. They, they've all got amazing rigs. Boy or girl, mm. you know, boy or girl, mm. mostly girl. Yeah, <laughs> um, some boy. Who's your all time? <laughs> all timer, mm. all time Olympian. Ah, uh, no, just all time athlete, female oh, athlete, all time female athlete. Anna Ivanovic. Anna Ivanovic. Yeah, she's, she's good looking. She went out with that um, golfer, Adam Scott. Wasn't nah, it? but she also went out with um, the dude from fucking. Everybody shuffling. Oh yes. Yeah, red, red, yeah, red, red foo, red foo. That's red right. Foo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That dude. He, that what is a, strange. What a knuckle jockey. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, can you describe to the listeners what a knuckle jockey is, please, Bill? Because I don't know. I just made it up, but I think my subconscious was going somewhere with it. But we'll yeah. we'll, we'll look it up on um. Urban Spoon. Urban, Urban Spoon, yeah. Urban Spoon. <laughs> yeah, Urban Spoon. Oh, yep. Knuckle Jockey's uh, got some really nice Knuckle Jockey has a very, tonight. very uh, racist connotation that we, we won't get into. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, Urban Spoon's a... Uh, you, you know, you, know you, you fucked that or you didn't realise? No, no, I fucked it on purpose. Oh, good, yeah, yeah. oh it was a gag. It was a gag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Of gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, you excited for today? Um, the podcast? No, no, just in general. Um, yeah, why not? It's, it's going to be a good day. Yeah. Um, the weather's been f- cranking. This is the first time we've ever spoken about the weather on the show. Mm, have we Ooh. run out of stuff to talk about? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, but it's generally, it's been fucking it's sublime. Been Tuesday was 18 degrees Celsius, which mm. is, for all our American listeners... It's about 1,000 degrees about Fahrenheit. 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, yeah. <laughs> give or take. Yeah, I mean, give Somewhat. or take a few thousand. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, look, it's probably <laughs> around 73 degrees Fahrenheit, I would say. Is that a guess or have you been Total serious? Guess. Here? Absolutely no idea. Um, no idea. Mm. But I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. 90 degrees Fahrenheit, I know, is reasonably hot. Okay. Mm. <laughs> just to be, just to be, just to be as vague as you can <laughs> yeah, that's possibly right. be. No, no, hang on. So you go, you go double the number plus 30. So if it's 18, it's 36 plus 30. So it's 66. So I hope that's right. So 66 degrees Fahrenheit for all you American. It sounds cold. Slumps. <laughs> people <laughs> um, no I'm looking forward to it we got some good podcasts coming mm. up today so mm. um, definitely yeah we're going to be good old um, old Nick hasn't checked in yet so we can still uh, so we keep, keep talking shoot, the shot shooting the, shooting the shit for a little while but mm. have you mm-hmm. been watching the Olympics much no nah. I watched 20 minutes of it and then I um, just subconsciously looked up Neil deGrasse Tyson and then just I just I, just, I was watching oh. Cosmos last night actually oh which episode um, episode 7 Isaac Newton Isaac Newton. Um, what was the episode? No, the it wasn't Isaac Newton. It was um, the the woman who um, discovered 
the oh. size of the universe, and mm. the, the deaf uh, the deaf woman that became mm. um, the the the, the uh, mentor to the that's other right, woman. to the younger chick. Yeah, who, yeah. <laughs> can't remember what they did. <laughs> no, that's right. I mean, that, was, that was something. Yeah, but Cosmos that was is good. Cosmos is sick, but fantastic. Do you reckon the Olympics has lost its luster? I think it. Ha- well, to be honest, I couldn't I- give. Really no. fucking three fucks about it. No, I, don't. I watched. I watched. I did watch the Boomers. Boomers oh, yeah. and the and the because I turned it on yesterday and we were up against the Boomers. Okay, should Kyrie Irving be playing for us? Um. Well, I think if you're born in a country mm-hmm. and then you grow up in a different country, then I don't know what the actual rules are, but then I think that's fair that you could probably you so could probably you move choose. over there. One. Oh, okay. So he's he's Australian. Yeah, oh, well, he's born in Melbourne. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know Melbourne? Do you know in the NBA basketball, there's there's one city, and I've probably already given it away, but I'll get <laughs> I'll, I'll test you out here. Yeah, yeah. There's one city in the world that's had that's been the home, uh, the 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 birth uh, birth city <laughs> of three number one picks in the NBA history. Mm-hmm. What city is that? Uh, was it the same city we were talking about three seconds ago? <laughs> Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. <laughs> um, so no, 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 Adelaide, Adelaide. So yeah, yeah. so so Kyrie really? Irving. What Ky- about Dante Exum as well? Dante Exum, yep. Kyrie Irving, and Andrew Bogut were Andrew all Bogut. born in Melbourne. Yep, isn't That's that ins- crazy? It's insane. Mm. That is insane. But then you have a look at like the tons and tons of athletes who were born in the US. Yeah, but. I mean, it's just, it's just. I mean, it's just a funny stat, really. It but is. I mean, it's pretty cool. And Australia are definitely getting a lot, lot better in the basketball. We mm. gave the Dream Team a real run for their money yesterday. Mm. But, but that, I watch that. I watch the swimming. I'll definitely watch the athletics. I'll try and watch yeah. the weightlifting. But do you reckon it's lost its last yeah. little bit? Because oh, oh, look, I was I was seven in two thousand when the Sydney Olympics were on, and that was awesome. Mm. I had a massive thing for Nikki Webster. I, that's slightly irrelevant. But I um, had Nikki a... Nikki few- Webster at the time was your age, so that's fair yeah, enough. So that's yeah, so Well, I mean, I, I, I still have a thing for Nikki Webster at the Olympics. So yeah, that's so you still have a thing more, for 12-year-old girls. Yeah, I, do, I still have a thing for 12-year-old girls. <laughs> which, look, I mean, we're all different. Freckly, red-headed 12-year-old girls. I'm, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if anyone has a single freckly, red-headed 12-year-old girl... <laughs> yeah, that's right, please. That, uh, um, or, or looking for a date on the weekend. <laughs> that's uh, that's just, getting a bit weird. Kidding. You've got a yeah. date this weekend, don't you? Uh, I do. Yep. So Stevie's in finance. Um, <laughs> same gag every time. No, but I wanted to continue. Same so, bloke every time. Same bloke every time. <laughs> He's a good bloke. Um, yeah. So yeah. I mean, I, I love the Sydney Olympics, and in many, I mean, many people's minds, they still reckon that that's the best one of all time. Mm. But I mean, to, London was too was good as well. But maybe it's kind of like because of the advancements in technology and stuff, and where you know we're always online and we're always doing all these other things, and we all have sort of you know, short attention spans nowadays. We don't just tune into the TV. I don't know. I agree. I, I kind of feel like the younger generation, especially <laughs> none of my mates, myself included, watch anywhere near as much. TV. I mean, I don't watch TV. I totally agree. I think uh, Netflix, Facebook, yep. Instagram, YouTube, yep. all these things mean that it's not just the free to air TV, yeah. three channels. Well, That's I don't the know one about, thing. We got a few... Fair few listeners from uh, America. I think yeah. one of our three listeners from America. Yeah, that's um, right. One third. Uh, America. I'm not sure how many. How many? Um, and we got. Do you know what we've actually got? Um, we got our fourth biggest country is Sweden. Yeah, I know. I've been. It's I've crazy, been noticing that. Yeah. Um, it's the but, Sweden girls. Yeah. Is that Sweden girl? No, that's more. That's more Dutch. Um, that sounds like Wim Hof. Uh, yeah, but uh, <laughs> the the um, I've lost my train of thought. That's right. I think the the fact that there's so much, yeah, so many options now because mm. there used to be in in Australia. There, it was always three channels, yep. seven, nine, and ten. I yep. mean, ABC and SBS. It was, it was really five, but like three big ones. And that's where you'd watch the Olympics. You'd all sit around the TV. Yeah, I, I, just the fact that we're spoiled for choice now is yep. so much different. We don't know what to do. And the other thing is, everyone's just a fucking drug cheat. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how's, how's old mate um, Ilya? Yeah, Ilya's popped. Thoughts on that? Um, I think it's pretty disappointing. I mean, it's like the fact... Of it's like the so if everybody home Ilya Ilyin is um a uh, a very much internationally renowned weightlifter from Kazakhstan yeah he's yeah. the greatest of all time greatest of all he's time he's never been beaten in he, international competition no never been beaten never been Gun. beaten he's Tra- won world, look, he trains hard he's world one world championships at 85, 94, 105 kilo category yep insane um, insane it's crazy and Ilya Ilya got busted for um don't know yeah. don't know exactly what it was Something. performance enhancing drugs. Uh, from his B sample from one of the the Olympics that he won, two thousand and eight, I believe it yeah, was. Yeah, I think it was two. And 
There's been, from to the retest at 2008 to 2012, there's been like 30 yeah. podium finishes that have been busted yeah. out, of all the, out of, of all the categories. So, yeah. in the 1980s, I believe it was, the, the weight categories changed in the Olympics mm. because how dirty the sport was. Mm. And they wanted to clean it up and they were going to start fresh. That's right. We're going to have to start fresh again. Yeah, we are. Or we're going to have to know that everyone's on drugs. Yep. What do you do about it? Or we do, go like powerlifting and we say, right, here's the clean Olympics, which will still have cheats in it. Yep. And here's the Drug open Olympics. slather Olympics. Yep. Which would just be insane. It would be good to watch. Yeah. It would be good to watch. I don't really see... I don't really see what the difference is. I mean, unless it's going to thing- harm people. Yeah. Unless it's going to be really exactly. harmful for people's health. Yep. Then what's the difference between performance enhancement by... Injecting yourself, yep. juicing yourself to the gills with or steroids. Drinking a supplement. Human growth hormones. Yeah. And I aspirin. Agree. Yep, they're exactly. All created, they're all natural. They're all created Mate, by us. Ventolin for asthmatics. Yeah. I don't understand it. It's all. It's like people say, um, people say um, artificial intelligence or mm. um, or it was man-made or whatever, or it's not It's not part of nature. It's mm-hmm. all part of nature. Mm-hmm. We're all, everything that's, that's getting made, we're, we're doing it. Mm-hmm. So we're just really crafty monkeys. Yeah, we are. You know, really we're all part of the food monkeys. chain. So- so it's all. I mean, if you if you're putting athletes' health at risk, you really shouldn't really do it. You know. Yep. So I think that actual uh, you can get. There's a fair few side effects from steroids. Obviously, yeah. Big side effects. Human growth hormone there aren't so many. There's a lot of be- there's a lot of positive benefits. Yep. Apart from like being able to lift a lot of weights and whatever, like your skin, your your, your energy levels, your vitality. Yep. All goes through the roof. So. But the misconception is that you take a steroid and you're done. So I've been taking and steroids, win. and well, and you're like the health, um, the health concerns are, you know, inevitable. Like you're always going to be screwed if you take yeah, steroids. Yeah, I've been taking steroids my whole life because <laughs> I've been an asthmatic, and I've also been on it. Oh, <laughs> you mean um, you steroids. mean ventolin, flixotide? That's a steroid that right. opens your chest up and gets way more oxygen into your lungs. Got a big chest. I've got a huge chest. You're actually a. a I'm actually a, a yeah yeah. <laughs> so, and look, I, I feel it right. I feel, mm. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> I, I feel it right. I don't know. Maybe it's a different form of steroid, but the thing is, people go, steroids, those drugs, bad, 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 bad. And it's kind of like, yeah, but if you eat too much chocolate, you're going to die early. Mm. You know, food is a drug. Mm. I just, yeah, it is a gray area because some yeah, worse than others. Go and, and go and have 10 beers on the weekend, yeah, athletes. Yeah, that's go and fine. Celebrate, go and celebrate. Oh, I would never cra- do drugs. Crash your car, ruin your liver. Yeah, like, I would never do drugs, but I'll uh, I'll go home and have a couple of beers every night. Well, it's society mm. that says that it's, it's harmful for you and it's bad for... You know, it's bad for the youth and stuff mm. Stuff to see. And then alcohol sweet. I love yeah. alcohol. I love drinking, but we talk about this all the time. Yep. But, that, but that's an acceptable drug. Yeah. That's readily Why is it accessi- acceptable. Yeah. And I don't get it. Yeah, well, that's right. Matt, I've got a theory behind it. And What's you know, that? you know my theory. See, I'm not a big alcohol drink. I'm not huge on it. Um, and I feel like alcohol and cigarettes, the legal drugs, are the ones that really are the worst for your consciousness. You know, the whole Joe Rogan war on drugs. I mean, war on consciousness thing. Graham Hancock, war on consciousness. Graham Hancock, war on consciousness. Yeah, Russell Brand mentioned a lot actually recently. Mm. It just makes so much sense to me. Why, mm. Like, why is alcohol, why is it free? Like, why, and why isn't like... <laughs> it's not free. Uh, yeah, well, why is it, yeah, well, why is it like legal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, gotcha. it's bizarre. Gotcha. Really strange. Yeah. I reckon next it's... week when we have uh, Tony Abbott on the show, we'll we'll, um, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll let him know. The former <laughs> Prime Minister of Australia. Uh, I, Can we make him wear uh, his budgie smugglers? Uh, I... Uh, let's spit, spit it out, Tony. We should have him and um, George Bush on the show. Yeah. Get him to debate. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It'll be this. I love being in Austria. No, it'll be this. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So, guys, this Tony? is... This Tony, is a, are you there? <laughs> this is a, a podcast show, guys. <laughs> you gobble, to, gobble. You have to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Don't know. Uh, well, we're, we're waiting on... Um, Old mate, Sorel. Who oh. is the... Who is he, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I know who he is. Head gymnastics coach at Brute Strength. He's uh, got a ton. Of, he, he, this man has done 40 strict handstand push-ups in a row. I did, uh, I think I did Four? 36 or 45 once. Does that 40, make does 36 that make, or 45? No, no. I don't, on a 7 or 419, oh, I can't, I can't remember. remember. What I'm saying is, does that mean I'm, a, I'm an elite? I should teach gymnastics? Yep. I did teach gymnastics. Yes, you did. With me. No, no, not with you. Oh. Taught you. I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, you <taught> get out. <laughs> yeah. Get anyway, out. I'm off. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, well, hopefully, um, hopefully, we'll see him soon. soon so we can get this uh, get this other interview yeah. in, into the system. But um, 
Before we shoot off, how's it been going at um Schwartz. at the new job? How's training going? You you training, training twice a day? Yeah, yeah training twice a day. Loving the new job. Um, miss miss all the guys from uh, from the old job, but still you Any gotta move girls? on just sometimes. The guys, just yeah, the guys. missing missing the guys and the girls. <laughs> um, loving the new job, loving the vibe, loving training. My back's all good now. My knee and my hip are all good now. My vibe, my banter is up. I am hashtag on. So uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Are you enjoying mouth, uh, the weight lifting? Full of um, smoothie. Yeah. Enjoying what? The weight lifting. Um, because you're a weightlifter, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been alright. I missed um, I missed so much training in the US. I missed like right. three weeks, and oh, yeah, I feel yeah. like, and I, I feel like I've come back, and I've just got no juice in the old mm. legs. Mm. The it's mojo. Really weird. You know how some people just, some people are predisposed to just get strong as fuck really quick. Yeah. Like, you know, they'll do. You know, they might have a 120 kilo back squat and they'll do uh, six months of squatting and they're up like 160, you know, a couple mm. of years in there, 180, 190. Mm. Not one of those guys. No. Nah. No, not, not at all. Not, not, not well, at all. Well, your back squat's not terrible. Was it? Uh, 90, most 95? It, <laughs> most of them are back squatted 150. <laughs> yep. But I went away to the US and just because I was so busy over there with, mm. uh, with everything, I couldn't train mm-hmm. I couldn't really train at all I had 29 adventure fitters over there yeah that's a lot and I wasn't leading all of them but it was just I kind of felt like I was and yeah. I just had so much organising to do so really didn't get to train and I've got the national championships coming up in like four four weeks mm. and yeah I just just lost all the juice in my legs hopefully we'll come back in the next couple of, couple of weeks but it's been uh, it's been a shit little four or five week period I had a really good stretch there um, hit some PBs the last couple of comps. Yep. But um, that's frustrating, man. I'm going to... I think I told you. Yeah. I'm going to start to take a step back away from the trips. Yeah, that's just right. Just because at the moment... Focus more on the weight thing and the, well, yourself as well. You, when you're setting yourself goals, so I'm setting myself business goals, yep. w- you know, with the back end of Adventure Fit. Yep. Setting myself podcast goals, setting myself goals in training yep. setting myself goals in life you know getting you know, rid of that anxiety all that stuff we talked about of course and every time I go away it's just it's it's a whirlwind yeah. it's just the nature of the trips you yeah know? of course and it's how it is and I gotta look at you, it like you, you lose three weeks yeah that's right and I gotta look at it like who's gonna get the most benefit out of this is mm. it gonna be me going over there is it is eventually going to benefit a lot more if I'm there? Yep. Or do I send my staff who don't have all the stuff going on that I've got with the back end yep like Dave and Will led the US trip and they did a fantastic job and they had a ball. Yeah, there like, you go. I went over with Jack. I don't I don't know okay times and and um so when the but the thing is they're going to enjoy they're going to enjoy it so much more than I would mm. and it's not going to take away from my training. Um it's not going to take away from the stuff I got going on with the business. So mm. once I get more time in my life, more money in the bank with the business, more mm. structures in place, then that takes away that stressor. So yep. that means I can go over there, I can train uh, sorry, not trying. I can enjoy it more. Yeah, of course. You know? Of course. But at the moment, they're just not that enjoyable. So I just, I really just want to lock down and just train. Yeah. It's all I've wanted to do for the last couple of years. Yeah. I wanted to take weightlifting seriously. Of course. Um, you know, I had a, I had a, a bit of a goal to try and represent Australia. To be honest, at yep. some point before I, you know, if I could have longevity to, to you know, train hard till I'm 35. But yep. if I keep getting all these, and maybe, maybe I, I don't know how it works. Maybe they don't put old balls like me in yeah, there yeah. you know over yep. 23 year old kids who can probably live the same way that's probably yep. the case yep um, so that's you know that might be but you know you cool, cool. still I don't know play chess <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at chess yeah I am good at chess we've never played chess yeah, by the rook, way rook to pawn uh, rook, rook to pawn, pawn um, pawn to normally, pawn yeah normally um, e4. queen queen smashes bunch yep. and stuff, stuff like chess yep. I'm good, I'm good chess player well what about the bishop to e7 bishop to e7 <laughs> yeah I don't even really know what the bishop is, man. I just, I just play chess. But um, where, where? But um, anyway, so yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, gonna step back away from the trips, and then hopefully just be able to train and yep. work on myself a bit more, and work on the business, and then mm. yeah, really just want to pump up the podcast and yeah, so do I, good, man. Good I, it's uh, it's fun, isn't it? What do you think mm. of Wimmy, old Ice Man, Wim was Hoff good. Daddy, Wim was Hoff great. Man. It was one of the greatest uh, greatest days we've had on the podcast. How for good sure. was that? So for the listeners, we uh, interview. If you didn't know, we interviewed um, Wim Hof the other day, but we're not going to release it until Mental Health Week. Mental Health Week in October, which we're uh, we're going to release a bunch of shows all mm-hmm. um, dedicated to kind of mental health. So mm-hmm. that'd be good. But yeah, it was great. He was um, good dude, wasn't he? Yeah, he was awesome. So um, anyway, should we uh, leave it there? Should we wrap it up? Good little uh, shitty of the shooty. 
Alrighty, guys. Thanks for listening. Another um, another short one from me and Tommy just saying hello. If you think we're idiots, if you think we're racist, if you think we're not funny, <laughs> let us know. If you think we're legends, give us a five-star review. Do all that stuff. Please. Um, any feedback's always good. We get a bit of stuff on the Instagram now. Um, just... Uh, yeah, feedback really. Yep. So feedback, so. back feed. Mm. Pun the pun. Yeah, because yeah, like the, the back is the, the back, feed. back feed. Back feed. Back feeding through the back. back. back that's it. Feeding feeding the feeding back. through the back end the of anus. my hamal. <laughs> 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 um, all, right, all right, see you guys. Boy. All righty, guys. That was the show. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I think our shoot the shits have been uh, the uh, the uh, more successful ones as of recent. So, guys, if you want to keep us rocking this shot then uh, just give us a subscription. Jump on uh, to iTunes, give us a subscription, leave a review. The reviews really help, guys. We want to keep bumping those up. Five stars. There's a few people that have been giving us four stars, except they've been loving the show, which I don't really understand. If you love the show, guys, leave us five stars. Come well, on. Well, there's not a few. There was one dude. There was one dude, <laughs> which we will remain nameless. Yeah. Well, we'll shame him one day. Maybe. We'll shame him one day. He's a good dude. We love him. We love him. All righty, guys. Um, hey, this show is brought to you by Audible. Sign on. So jump onto the website, audibletrial.com forward slash ADVF radio to get your 30 day free trial and a one free audiobook credit. I absolutely froth Audible. It's a great way to get information in when I'm driving, point A to point B. Sensational stuff. Guys, we are also brought to you by Adventure Fit Travel. Jump onto adventurefittravel.com where you can sign up for the newsletter. You can um, jump on the database there. You can jump onto the podcast link, which has all of our show notes for all of the guests that we hit up. And guys, as well, we are doing a promotion at the moment. Bill, do you want to talk us about the promotion? Yeah, guys, just make sure, um, as you heard in the intro, um, <laughs> screenshot uh, rating and review, screenshot the fact that you subscribe, and then take a screenshot, share our show on Instagram using ADVF Radio Giveaway and send the screenshots to promotions at adventurefittravel.com. It's all on our Instagram. So that'll go till the 18th. So you've got a few days left when this is released. Yep. So get in there and you can get yourself some merchandise, a, a couple of merchandise packs, three merchandise packs and three vouchers, 1,750 and 500 to the first, second and third prize. So get in there, help us climb the rankings and see you next week. Boom. Discovery Roger, go for deploy.